Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the most popular and unique snacks in all of Australia. It comes with a whole lot of fun and a little bit of drama. So keep on watching and I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. What's up everyone? Welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we are making fairy bread from Australia, which is a really fun recipe with lots of fun colors and there's some fun background and why we make it, but it also has a little bit of drama. A few months ago, I was blissfully making fairy bread on TikTok and I made a decision that angered some people. I cut the crusts off of the bread. And while I made that decision because I had watched some YouTube videos where a woman from Australia cut the crust off of the bread, I'm looking at you, that actually was not very well received by the public. There ended up being an article written about me in the Daily Mail about my fairy bread blunder. I was invited to talk on Australian talk radio to confess to my sins. And I even was featured on Sunrise at 7, which is the Australia morning show that everyone watches. It was a little bit embarrassing, also a little bit funny. And so I definitely learned a lot about how to make fairy bread, which is number one most important thing, don't cut off the crust. Today I'm here, we are going to be making fairy bread in my kitchen with all of the tips that I have learned from Australia as they tore me apart in my TikTok comments. And now I know exactly how to make this recipe perfectly, so I'm going to make sure that you know how to make it perfectly too. First things first, people, I need you to go to the store. I need you to buy a loaf of the cheapest white bread you can possibly find. No high quality stuff, no bakery stuff. We need Wonder Bread up in here. Next, margarine, no butter. Margarine is what you need to make this recipe. So what you're going to want to do is keeping the crusts on the bread very carefully, keeping the crusts on the bread. You're going to spread some margarine onto each slice of bread. Now there was some controversy in my comments about this next step. Some people thought I was a genius. Some people thought I was a psychopath. I'll let you decide. We're going to need some non-pareil sprinkles, which in Australia are called hundreds and thousands. And I use the whole container in this recipe just because I think it's easier that way. Now what I like to do is take this container of sprinkles and pour it into a shallow bowl. Then you can take your piece of bread and dip it right into the sprinkles, making sure that the whole piece of bread is coated in your hundreds and thousands. And then the last thing that you're gonna do is cut it in half diagonally. For those people that did not like the dipping the bread into the sprinkles, there is another option. You can also just use the shaker part of the bottle and sprinkle your hundreds and thousands all over your bread. Now my argument against this is you can see that I'm making quite a big mess. So dipping it, I think, is easier and less cleanup afterwards. If you really wanna do it the Australian way, this is an option too. Now I will say that the argument for the crusts totally does make sense because what I've been told is that you have to have the crusts so that you have something to hold the bread by without getting your fingers all into the sprinkles. Fairy bread is really popular at kids' birthday parties in Australia, so while there is sometimes a birthday cake, there's also always fairy bread as a snack. And from what I've been told online, the most authentic fairy bread you can have is the one that has been left out in the sun for hours and hours while the kids are playing on the bounce house and your fairy bread is getting nice and warm in the sun. That's how you know you've been to a really good Australian birthday party. Thank you for following along while I make this fun and unique Australian snack, and thanks for listening to my funny story. If you thought that this story was funny or if you want to make fairy bread go ahead and give this recipe a big thumbs up so that I know you liked it and then also leave a comment below letting me know what you think should you be able to cut the crust off of fairy bread or are they a must to keep on don't forget to check out all of the other recipes that are on my YouTube channel. The link to the recipe with some tips and tricks is gonna be in the description of this video, as well as some of the links to the other Australian recipes that I tried, because don't worry, I did make more than fairy bread. There are also some recipes on my YouTube channel that I definitely think you should check out, so don't forget to browse through the other recipes there. And most importantly, don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week.